Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and I just wanted to quickly show you how I make my berry smoothie. Now, some people might go, I don't know, smoothies, just so much work, you gotta measure this, you gotta put yogurt in here, you gotta mix it up to here. You don't need to worry about any of that. This is, this is nice and easy, anyone can do it. So, here is what you need. You need some mixed berries. This is for my quadruple berry smoothie. It's strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Now, you're probably going, okay, so you're just going to put all that into a cup, right, and blend it? No, you actually need a base. A base can be something like cranberry juice, or it could be something like orange juice. You decide which one you like better. I prefer cranberry juice because I like the taste of cranberries. Orange juice, up to you. Now, one thing I will warn you folks about, um, there's a lot of sugar in these processed juices. So, if you're diabetic or if you have any sugar issues, be sure to observe the side of the container and look at the nutritional facts and see if it's something that you can do. Um, I get the light version of the cranberry juice. The light has less sugar per uh, fluid ounces. The serving size is 8 fluid ounces. It's 11 grams of sugar. So, I get the light version of the cranberry juice. I can't tell the difference, honestly. So, if sugar is an issue or you're watching your weight, whatever, get the light cranberry juice. And if you're getting orange juice, try and get the healthy version of that if you can. I get the low acid, um, no pulp stuff. Uh, that might be of interest to you. As far as the fruit goes, this stuff comes in 8 ounce bags, which is perfect. So all you do is you cut the top off and you put it into your little blender cup. Now I got a Ninja recently, uh, auto IQ off Amazon, it's like 80 bucks, something like that, and the dog has to choose right now to eat. <laughs> okay, fine. So you've got your fruit in here, do that first, then you pour your base. And usually there's going to be like a line or something to tell you, okay, pour to here. You don't want to overfill these, so I'm just going to pour. Okay, so the line is roughly around here, so just a little bit more. There we go. Alright, so that's all. I mean, some people might add yogurt at this point. Some people might add chia seeds at this point. Uh, maybe a protein powder to go along with it. It's up to you. If you've got sensitive stomachs and don't really want to mess with all that stuff, you don't have to. So I'm just going to pretend like I can screw this on. There we go. Now, obviously, your blenders will vary. This is the Ninja. I'm just going to put this upside down. Make sure the lid is fastened before doing this. And start. I do it about 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Now, if you wanted to, you could have put ice in there. If your blender can handle ice, you can put ice in there to give it that slushy kind of taste. What I like to do is leave the ice out. I've got, this is cold already. The cranberry juice is cold already. After I'm done with this, I pour it into my Bubba cup here, which is roughly the same size. And what I like to do, if I wanted to give it, I mean, it's cold already. It's cold already. But if I wanted to give it that chilled taste, throw it in your freezer for about five minutes. It'll be nice and cold, and you won't have... If you put too much ice in the blender, you're not going to be able to suck the, the juice or the slushy in through the straw because it'll be too cold. So you don't want to do that. That's why I don't use the ice. When you put it in there, there's no ice to, to freeze the stuff too much, and you'll be able to suck up the juice, no problem. So there you go, folks. That was my uh, DGA patented... Uh, quadruple berry smoothie. Uh, again, cranberry juice, orange juice, you pick the base. Um, if you guys really want me to write down the recipe and put it in the description, I will, but really, it's just two ingredients. <laughs> Mixed berries and cranberry juice, and then you do the rest. Right, this is Vince, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.